Hello and welcome to jasonnewland.com. My name's Jason. I'm your friendly neighbourhood hypnotist. I um, this is a free hypnosis session, and what I'm going to do is give you a way of changing how you feel, which in a sense is all I do. In a sense, that's kind of what I do. So this isn't going to be a long session either, this is going to be a session which allows you to take advantage of your own resources that are already within you, already in your conscious mind. I'll be talking to your unconscious mind as well and this is something that you can do pretty much wherever you want. So. Although you can do this, let's say if you're at work, in an office, you can do it with your eyes open, once you kind of got the hang of it, I would suggest, and it's very important, that you never listen or watch any hypnosis sessions unless you can safely close your eyes. It's very important. Um, and I would also suggest that maybe you, you close your eyes for this session, just to learn it, and then... You can practice it with your eyes open if you want, but no, never do it when you're driving or anything like that. Only do it when it's safe for you to do it. Um, so if it is safe for you to close your eyes, it's the only time to ever do anything to do with hypnosis. I think I've uh, got that one across. So, with this session is what I thought, and that's a bit weird, it's going to be a bit of a strange idea, but stay with me because I've been doing this for a while and this basically is a way to change a feeling, a way to deal with a difficult person and there are a few of them out there. I'm probably one of them. So, at times, so we're all we've all got the ability to be a bit difficult, no doubt. Um, so, basically, this session, because sometimes people can be difficult, it's not because they're being difficult. It's because of how you're feeling at that time. Because maybe you're struggling with the day or with the week. Someone that maybe isn't normally difficult to you seems difficult, but at the same time, you might be going through relationship issues. So it's not really about that person. It's just about your response to the situation. So bearing that in mind, and that is pretty much always the case anyway, to a degree. Of course, there are some people that really that you know, you've got a hundred people together they all would say the same thing about that person. Um, but quite often, most people have friends, or some people that are like them, some people that don't like them, it's just natural. Can't be loved by everybody, unfortunately. So, this technique gives you an opportunity to deal with this. And this is something which is worthwhile having especially if you're going through some stuff um, because the benefit of these techniques that I teach, that I impart, that I um, give away free is once you've learnt the technique, once you've learnt how to do it, just the idea of doing it triggers the effect. It's a bit like um, you learn how to kick a ball in football for example, you learn how, or soccer, you learn how to kick a ball and it gets to a point where you actually, whenever you think about running towards the ball, the ball flies off. You get the same result without even kicking it. Of course we're not living in um, superhero world here this isn't the um, the X-Men or anything so 
I'm just as an idea. But in your mind, it's all imagination ultimately. So there's a whole idea, isn't there? If you're going to imagine something, why don't you imagine something nice? You know, if you're going to have a storyline going in your mind, why not have it a good story? If you're going to watch a drama on television, you want it to be a good drama. If you're going to watch a comedy film, you want it to be a funny film. So why not be that fussy about what goes on in your mind? Anyway, this uh, technique basically is um, something that you can do. And there's lots of different versions of doing the same thing. You can change it and play around with it. Let me know what you've done with it. So with this thing is you can actually imagine the person. Okay, imagine the person and just imagine them shrinking really tiny. Okay, in your hand and just laying in your hand and then just imagine that they turn into little twigs just into twigs, like a little twig man, or gingerbread man, it could be anything. I like the idea of a gingerbread man. So imagine this person, as you said, you can have different varieties of this. Imagine this person turns into a little gingerbread man. Just a small one, just in the palm of your hand. And with your other hand, go like that. And just crumble it all up. And then go like this. Notice how you feel. Do it once, do it twice, do it three times. When you're doing it, the person says something, you literally, while they're talking, you literally can just go like that. Go like that. And just let it go. So basically, whatever they've said can go into the gingerbread man and then turns to crumbs, gone. So it's not even bypassed you, it's not gone anywhere near you. Go straight into the gingerbread man, or straight into the, it could be a bit of bread, crumbs, could be anything, could be some twigs, just a bit of grass, you know, um, green grass that you get on the football field. And just blow it away. Could be anything, could be biscuits, which I guess gingerbread men are. So, this is that's something as a technique you can use. Something that you can use to just change how you feel. I do know that it sounds a bit strange, sounds a bit weird. And it is. But is it any weirder than allowing another person to affect you in a way that is uncomfortable um, and to, you know, make you feel, or you feel that it makes you feel horrible inside? Is this any weirder than experiencing pain? because of words that somebody said and allowing yourself to feel that pain when you now know of at least one way to just evaporate it before it even builds into anything else if you turn the tap on the sink's only going to fill up if you've got the plug in the plugs out the water will just go away so don't walk around with a plug in that's all I'm saying make sure the plug is out so those feelings cannot fill up the sink let us know how you get on bye